as summer draws to a close, multiple opposing factors and trends are competing to define the direction of the real estate market. After the Federal Reserve lowered its benchmark interest rates on July 31st, the 30-year mortgage rates continue to decline, approaching all-time lows, last seen in 2016. Yet most experts agree these reductions are unlikely to bring sufficient relief, at least in the short term. For first-time home buyers, that's an issue. The lack of affordable inventory and persistence of historically high housing prices continue to affect the housing market, leading to lower than expected existing home sales at the national level. Closed sales decreased 3.8% detached, 6.9% for attached, and pending sales increased by 18.4% for detached and 15.1% for attached. And the inventory is decreased by 21%. That's a crazy number. The median sales price is down about a percent, $660,000 in San Diego, and detached has increased about 3.5 for attached. Days on market has increased though, 10%, that's big number, 24% for uh, detached. Supply, uh, the supply is definitely increasing. As many homeowners refinance their homes to take advantage of the declining interest rates, consumer confidence in housing was reported still to be at historical high levels. Even so, real estate professionals will need to be monitoring the market for signs of continued imbalances. Although the inventory of affordable homes at this point remains largely stable. It's stable historically low levels, which may continue to push prices higher after potential buyers across the United States. So what does this mean? We're gonna see what happens going into the fourth quarter and hopefully better results will happen in 2020. It's Carlos Gutierrez, anything you need real estate related, call me, lots of data, definitely I'll give you the inside track. Thanks for watching. Thank you.